All right, folks, what we got here is an O2 Subaru Outback. Customer went to the uh, store and it didn't start. But the battery was changed not too long ago. Okay, 11.22. Right now it's 2.23. Couple months, all right, battery shouldn't be dead. So the first thing you wanna do when you check for a dead battery or why it doesn't start, always go to the battery first, the last thing that was done. So the battery change was the last thing that was done. You wanna go and you look at your battery terminals, okay? You wanna actually grab them and spin them, okay? Don't be afraid to spin them. Don't be afraid to grab it, okay? You wanna see if you can just rip it off because it should be nice and tight. See, this one's nice and tight. This one has a little boot. You take this boot off, same thing. You wanna grab it and see if it's loose. But look at this. See that? You can spin it right off. Okay, and it looks like it wasn't even tight because there's no marks on the terminal. So I don't even know if they even did it. They weren't paying attention or they just broke it dead. But look what broke. See this little clamp here? This clamp broke off of here, but it should still tighten up even with this broken piece. But either way, looks like it was never even done. Okay? Remember, when you bring it to the shop, sometimes they pay by the hour. They don't have time for any BS and stuff like that. You know what I mean? They went and they sold this because, of course, the old one was broken. But, uh, yeah, attention to detail, people. Okay? This is why it didn't start. So the customer grabbed this, gave it a little wiggle, and then it started, and he was able to drive it here. Okay? But he never peeked under there because he didn't see if it was broken or not. Most of the time they were broken in a different spot. But look, watch it. If you look at the terminal, between the terminal here and here, you could actually kind of wiggle it. Okay, that's how much, that's how bad it was. All right, so without a bad connection, without that being nice and tight, your alternator is not going to charge your battery because it's not making a good connection. Everything has to be nice and tight. Your negative cable and your positive cable so any electricity gets drawn out into the car through these cables it runs the computer it runs your AC your headlights your heat everything okay so off to the store we're gonna be changing that terminal soon it looks like that nut right there sometimes they're a little rough you might have to cut it off otherwise the new terminal should come with a little stud and just have to replace those two little terminals onto the old one. All right, that's it. Battery 101, or battery terminal 101, slash A. All right, ciao. Thanks for watching.